What's up, world? So I want to tell you about this uh, prophetic vision that I had tonight. Um, it's pretty late. I work in the a.m. I work overnight and things of that nature. And a lot of times when I'm at work, I do a whole bunch of praying and studying the word of God and things of that nature. I got a pretty laid back job, pretty chill job. So um, I really get the chance to spend um, a lot of time with the Lord, you know, even at work. Um, and with that being said, a lot of times um, I have prophetic visions and experiences and things of that nature. Um, and tonight I just want to share this, you know, because I feel the unction of the Holy Spirit to share this. And uh, I feel that is it can be some important to, importance to some people and really wake some people up. Um, so as I was praying now, I know that as you pray, you pray in tongue and things of that nature, it really sets the atmosphere. When you spend time with the Lord Jesus, it sets the atmosphere um, for you to have encounters with the Lord, for you to for you can have encounters, prophetic encounters and things of that nature, sometimes angelic, things of that nature. But anyways, uh, shortly after I had prayed for uh, a few um the Lord took me into a vision and this vision was wicked, man. Like it was crazy. Uh, probably one of the most craziest visions I have ever had. And with this vision, you know, I began to see a pit. Um, and the best way I could describe this pit, this pit is like, uh, it's like a huge, um, it's like a volcano or a cave, if you will. It was like a black volcano. That's what it, it looked it like. Um, and within this pit, it was uh, fire. And within this pit, uh, I began to see demons and things of that nature. And, you know, it's many different types of demons. It's many different types of angels and all of that good stuff. But um, demons come in many different forms, just like de just like angels come in many different forms and stuff of that nature. Um, these particular demons were small, they were smaller, um, and they was gray in color, um, and they had like orange, like eyes, um, and, and their teeth were jagged and sharp and, and it, it was just wicked looking, you know, they had like gray, pale looking skin. It was just slimy, crazy looking stuff. Um, and within the pit, they was like torturing uh, people, but I noticed this one guy, it was one guy that stood out to me, and on his shirt, it wasn't like a shirt far as like with fashion, like with something written on it, but it was from a prophetic sense, like I looked at the front of his shirt, and it says, the lack of love, the lack of love, uh, and then right at that moment, the Lord Jesus began to minister to me. And he says that many of my people will be caught uh, in hell, will be caught in the lake of fire because of the lack of love. And immediately I just start to ponder upon that. And I was taken out of this, this vision. And I, I immediately thought about Apostle Paul, you know, when Paul says, you know, we don't have love, we don't have nothing. You know, you could be the greatest prophesier, you could be the greatest gifted at wherever, anointed for wherever, but if you ain't got love at the center of it, and the love that Paul was speaking about, many people get this um, misconception about the type of love that Paul was speaking about. Paul was not speaking about any type of love within this world. See, it's a perverted love in this world. Um, love in this world, worldly love runs out. Come on, somebody. It's temporary. Uh, so it's not real love. The true love is the love of Jesus Christ. It's Jesus in your heart. That's why the Bible speaks about, you know, when when love comes, uh, 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 you know, the gifts will cease. Many people misteach this and they seem to think that the gifts has already ceased. Love is another word for Jesus. True love, true peace comes from Jesus Christ. He is love. Uh, and that's the love that we should have in our heart. So the love that we should have in our heart is Jesus. Jesus should be at the center of 
our heart, at the center of our universe. Come on, somebody. Uh, we don't pray to the universe, but the center of our universe is Jesus. Uh, uh, the center of our ministry, the heart of our ministry, the heart of our gift is Jesus. But I feel like it's a lot of people that's missing uh, that jewel, that jewel, uh, if you will, of love. Um, even in rebuke, it, at the center of rebuke, at the center, because rebuke means to correct. At the center of correcting your brother or sister in Christ, it should be love. Everything is drawn about love. When you when you're walking in uh, miracles and, and signs and wonders, when you're walking in healing, and when you're teaching, when you're preaching, it should be love. When you're casting out demons, it should be love. Come on. If we're, if we're doing this without Jesus, then we really fell in the mission. And I believe this is why, I believe this is why Jesus, this is one reason why Jesus uh, would tell some people, some people would say, Jesus, I prophesied in your name, I cast out demons in your name. And he would look at them and say, get away from me, I never knew you. You never knew love. You never portrayed love, godly love, the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus was never in your heart. It's no way possible that you're going to have the love of Christ in your heart, a.k.a. Jesus in your heart. And he's going to look at you and say, get away from me. I never knew you. If you know love, you're going to bear the fruit of love. Come on, somebody. This is talking to somebody. You're going to bear the fruit of love. And you're going to bear the fruit of love on earth. And when it's time to go home to be with the Lord, he's going to look at you and say, well done, you faithful servant. I know you. Now get in here. <laughs> a lot of people think uh, going into heaven is about being perfect or about good works. Mm -mm. It's not about nothing that we can do. The, the word of God says our works is like filth of rags to Jesus. It's by what he did on the cross. The finished work at the cross, which is Jesus Christ. We just got to accept that and walk in that. <laughs> and demonstrate that Paul says I didn't come to bring persuasive words but demonstrate power and the power many people ask me how do you demonstrate power how do you get power by demonstrating love power goes and flows along with love so I pray that this is an eye opener for somebody I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that this video reach whoever it needs to reach that it tugs at the heart that it convicts the heart that maybe it might be you. You might be the person just going to get into a worker's mentality of ministry. You're going to get into this mentality of rebuking people and correcting people, but it's not coming from a place of love. Remem remember <laughs> to keep Jesus in your heart. I pray that this opens the eyes of sinners and saints alike. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus.